Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full face of my current makeup favorites. I have not updated this series video in a long time. Like I'm talking months. So I thought I would share with you guys what I have been loving, what's been hard for me to put down. Some of these are as recent as just I got them a couple weeks ago and I am obsessed. Some of them have been favorites for a long time. So yeah, if that's interesting to you, be sure to stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Megan. <laughs> be sure to subscribe before you leave. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so I already have gel uh, in my brows, but kind of debatable. That one's like not sticky enough. There's always one of my brows that behaves and then the other one doesn't. I don't talk about brows often because I always use the same product. So these aren't just current faves. They're literally holy grails. Uh, the Honey Glue is what I love to use from Pink Honey as a gel. And then my constant repurchase is my e.l.f. Brow Lift Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. Like this, I, that's all I use. So, I, you know, that's why I don't really talk about it. But if you're new here... Now you know. In terms of eyeshadow primer, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Priming Potion is my favorite. It's literally pretty much the only thing I use. I'm trying something different out right now, but for the most part, that's what I'm always reaching for. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into eyes. And my current favorite palette is something I was what well, that was decluttered to me for my birthday. So if you've seen that haul, then you've seen this palette and it's been pretty difficult for me to put it down ever since. I've traveled with it. Like I, I just, I love it. Like I'm truly blown away. It does not have more hype. It is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette in the shade Light. I am freaking obsessed with this, you guys. As you can tell, I already have like some good use in this. Uh, when it was decluttered to me, it was pretty much brand new. It had been used like one or two times. Um, but I have had a really hard time putting it down. So let's go ahead and jump into the makeup. I'm going to go in with this transition shade here first all over just to set the lid and start to build up a nice base. I love this palette because if you don't know, I am a neutrals gal. I live for a everyday neutral look like those are my favorite to do. These tones in here are perfect for me to do that. I can, you know, mix it up. I can get some variety out of this, uh, but I feel like I have all the variety I need for like everyday look. And it just makes me want to reach for it because it's so just like easy. It requires no thought process at all, uh, which it's really nice in the morning, especially if I'm running late. This is also a really nice compact palette for if you're traveling because you're going to get your highlighter and you're going to get your blush in there. And then I also think if you really wanted to, you could use this shade or mix these two shades and you could get a bronzer shade. So it's really just a great all-in-one palette. I found the formula to be consistent with Natasha Denona as well. I'm going to just go in with this smoke shade here on the outer corner. The mattes blend beautifully. I've had absolutely no issues with them. And the shimmers are insane, you guys. I actually think that they are probably the best shimmers I have tried from her brand. I am not sure if it's a new formulation or what. But the shimmers are just so much more like boiled and sparkly in this palette. And I just, wow, they are, they are something. They are absolutely stunning. So I've really just been enjoying this as a really easy go-to everyday palette. There is some fallout in the palette that does not bother me. There's also some fallout on the face that doesn't bother me either. I do my eyes first. But once everything is on and blended, uh, I don't have like any fallout into the day or anything like that. You can really build these shades up or you can really kind of sheer and blend them out 
whichever your preference is, they are really, really easy to work with. I just, mm. chef's kiss y'all, chef's kiss. And I am gonna use uh, a little bit of glitter glue as well uh, for these shimmers. Cause I do feel like, well, I feel like all shimmers in general, but I really feel like these shimmers pack more of a punch and stay in place a lot better when they have, when they're being like paired with a glitter glue, um, just because the formulation is more foiled, like I said. So I like to give it a little bit of something to stick to personally. I should have ate before this video, you guys. I'm literally starving. So I might take a break after my eyes, <laughs> to be honest, for a little, little snack a snack. Um, I think I have some hard boiled eggs lying around. But uh, now I'm going to go into the outer corner shade, which is this one right here. I find that it applies nice with a brush or with your finger, whichever, like, <laughs> whichever your preference is. Uh, I'm going to go in with my finger and then I will just make sure the edges are all taken care of with the brush. But wow, this is like so reflective and gorgeous camera does not even do it justice you guys it doesn't even do it justice it's so freaking stunning and like yeah if you're not somebody who enjoys neutrals on like you know a fairly regular basis then like yeah you might this might not be the palette for you but I feel like if you're someone who does enjoy neutrals on a regular basis then you really might enjoy this one um I don't feel like I really saw that many I feel like I haven't really seen anything about it since it launched to be quite honest with you and I was kind of confused because I was like oh my gosh this is absolutely you know stunning gorgeous all the things but like Nobody's talking about it. So, I don't know. I thought that was, like, kind of weird. But I'm literally obsessed. It takes everything I have to put it down. Uh, and we will circle back to this palette later uh, in this video as well. Because there's another product in it that I just, like, cannot get enough of either. So, <laughs> we will use this palette again for sure. I am going to go grab myself a little snacky. And then I'll be right back with you guys to start applying my base and primer and everything like that. <laughs> All right, I had hard boiled eggs, so hopefully that will hold me over at least until the end of this video. For primers, I don't really have a new one that is my, that I'm like loving, which is crazy because I have several new primers in my possession, but none of them are really wowing me like the Milani bright side illuminating primer like this has been a favorite since last year and I had completely finished one up last year and I repurchased it and I'm about halfway through this one and honestly just nothing really compares to it I and I feel like now that I've been trying some other primers I'm realizing even more of the things that I like about this one for one, it's super affordable, it's drugstore, uh, it's hydrating. So it gives my skin some hydration, which I don't really feel like any of my other primers right now do. And I, my skin needs that. Even though I like moisturize and do all my skincare before, I like to have a pretty hydrated base to start. And it also gives me a really nice, beautiful glow. So. I just feel like this is such a hard one to beat, you guys. I highly recommend it. Um, the other ones, if you're curious, that I have in my collection right now are um, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, the um, Glow Recipe Niacinamide Drops, um, and then I had another one, but I'm going to declutter it, so... I won't even waste y'all's time showing you that one. But yeah, they're really just, 
isn't anything that's comparing to it. It's it's so good. Like, honestly, look at that glow. I love it, love it, love it. Next up for base foundation, whatever, I have a product that I started trying out about a week and a half ago for an influencer review. And you guys, I cannot put it down. And I hate that I love it because the shade range is so freaking bad that not a lot of people are going to be able to get it. And honestly, it's not going to be even close to matching me for the majority of the year. So that is a bummer about it. And I hate to give it like, you know, its own moment, but I truly can't put it down. It is the Dr. Jar uh, Premium Beauty Balm. This has SPF 40, niacinamide. It's supposed to hydrate, conceal, protect. I have the shade Light Medium. The packaging is like interesting. Like this is like hard plastic. <laughs> it comes with a pump and I've just been absolutely obsessed. Like I cannot stop wearing it. I get a really nice light amount of coverage. It allows me to keep the glow from my primer. And this is super long wearing. I'm talking like 15 plus hours. I work really long days at work sometimes. And so I like longer wearing foundations and this just holds up so well, blends so easily. Like I love it. I will say there is a light scent that I'm not too keen on, but it doesn't last on the skin. So that's good at least. It kind of smells like tea tree. So if that bothers you, steer clear of this. It doesn't really bother me. And especially since um, it fades quickly and it also has not broken me out due to the scent. So I can appreciate that as well. I also wanted to hit on another current fave, which is this brush. It's from, it's the Pinnacle Foundation Brush from Anissa. And I recently got this like from Octoly for like a text review, but oh my gosh, you guys, I can't stop using it. It's so good. I really love how it's like the perfect shape to get right down in here like this, especially since I do my eyes first. I love that it's able to get in there like that. I just, oh, it does such a good job. No streaks or anything like that. I'm like heavily a brush gal. So I was excited to discover a new brush that I loved. But yeah, I've been literally obsessed with these two. I just, oh, it looks so good on the skin, you guys. So good. I cannot say enough things. The next product is concealer. And I've really been enjoying this since I started trying it out. Well, it's been a couple months since I've reviewed it, but I busted it back out. It's the uh, Pure Elise BB Concealer, their Perfect Glow line. This one's in the shade Light. This is another product that does not have a good shade range. The brand did say that they were working on expansion, so hopefully that is accurate, true, and we will see it soon because I think they only have like six shades, which is just, you know, not even enough for like undertones and stuff, not to mention like actual skin tones. So they stated that they were working on expanding that. Um, so hopefully we will see that sooner rather than later. But I love this concealer. My favorite way actually to apply it is with a sponge. It's a little too heavy for me if I go in um, with a brush, but this just looks great. It feels like illuminating a little bit. Um, doesn't crease really long wearing, super easy to work with. I really enjoy the shade on me right now as well. So yeah, I've been obsessed with this one. Next up, we're going to go in with bronzer and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a cream bronzer, um, to start because I've, Okay, I see, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm like, I don't want to spoil what else is like coming up. So we're going to go in with Cream Bronzer first. The one that I have been loving is from Nude Sticks. It's the Bondi Bay. And I know that this has been out forever. I'm late to the game. I know. But I just more recently tried this. 
and I love it, you guys. One, the tone is absolutely beautiful. I enjoy this stick kind of packaging. And two, it blends out really easy. It is long lasting. It's actually the cream bronzer I find myself wanting to reach for a lot, even though I've had a lot of newer ones enter my collection. So I'm trying to test those out as well. But I, wow, I just like, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. And honestly, makes me want to declutter the new cream bronzer stick that I got because I was kind of thinking about it anyways, because I don't really enjoy the tone on me. And, but I was like, well, maybe I should, you know, keep giving it a shot, whatever. But now that I have this on my face, I might as well declutter the other one because I'm going to reach for this first, like period. So that's the tea on that. <laughs> that's the tea. But I, I absolutely love that one. And you saw in real time how easy that was for me to apply. So yeah, I've been absolutely obsessed. Now I'm going to reach back into the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And I'm going to dip into this cream blush. I like this was the part of the palette that I was the most worried about because I'm super picky about blush tones on myself and I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it. Plus, I hadn't really heard um, super raving things about the formula. Like people were saying it was stiff, a little bit hard to work with. Um, but I'm not having any issues like blended out beautifully. I do enjoy the tone on me. You can sheer it out if you want going a little bit lighter handed. Uh, and that's usually what I've been doing. I just went in a little heavier handed today because I'm yapping and not paying attention. Um, but it literally, it is, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty shade. So vibrant. It has the lasting power that I look for when it comes to a cream blush. I've honestly really just been loving it. The next product is probably going to come as a shock to you guys because... I haven't, I have not been into powder in a couple of years, but I recently tested one out in my Makeup Forever video where I was doing try-ons and wear test and things like that. And the Makeup Forever Professional, um, their setting, their Ultra HD setting powder in the shade one loose powder obsessed. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, I never thought that I would be back obsessed with a powder but I really like it just to apply a light dusting over my face. And especially like in the heat, um, really the only time I use powder is in the summer. Just to kind of give me that extra reinforcement. But what I love about it is it sets everything down, but I don't lose, I'm not losing my luminosity. And that's why I enjoy applying it with a brush. If you apply it with like a sponge or a like beauty um I can't think of the word if you apply it like that though it is a little bit more mattifying which isn't my preference so I've been doing it with this brush and I love it like I I really do it also gives me the opportunity to go in with some other products as well so um I am gonna go ahead and fill in my brows really quick and then I'll be back okay I'm feeling a little bit more put together now that my brows are on the next product that I've really been enjoying is actually from my Project Pan. It's my Olimar Cosmetics bra uh, blush brush bronzer in the shade light. Okay, I have no clue what that bronzer part is going to say because Tito's barking like crazy. So I, I don't know what those cuts are going to look like. Um, but if I'm wanting to go in with a powder uh, blush to top things off or set things. I've been reaching for my Charlotte Tilbury Noongasm face palette. Um, this has really become a favorite lately and I just love this blush shade so much. I don't really think that we need it today, but I'm just going to put a little over there anyways and a little bit on my nose. I just love the tone of this and the like light shimmer that it gives. I think it is so stinking beautiful. Is it overpriced? Yeah, but I'm currently like obsessed with it. I don't know. 
Um, I am going to go ahead and finish up the lower lash line, do my mascara and all of that. Um, then I'll come back for the final look and chat about my current favorite lip products. Okay, so here is the finished look. Some of the finishing touch products that I've been really obsessed with is the Item Beauty Boost Juice. I was gifted this through Octoly and this is a lash primer. This one is to enhance length and this one's to enhance volume. Normally, I am not like super into these. I think they're a little bit gimmicky, but I've really been enjoying this one. Uh, I use the volumizing side today. That's what it looks like. And then I use the blue side a lot, which is for lengthening because I have not used my um, lash primer, like growth serum in months. I need to do that. But I have really been loving this, so I wanted to mention it. The next thing, and I don't, I'm not sure if this is available anymore, is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. If it is, I highly recommend you snag it. They are closing their doors, so it's not going to be available. I have like eight backups. <laughs> it's my all-time favorite, and now I'm going to have to like restart the search for a Holy Grail mascara. So I love that for me. But yeah, if you can still get your hands on this, I definitely recommend picking it up. The next item is just a liner from Kylie Cosmetics. I've really been enjoying the tone of a little bit of a deeper lip liner. This is just the one in my panning project. I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know the last time I used a liner that wasn't my panning project. I don't have a lot of lip liners in my collection, but I do really enjoy that formula on my lips. I have been loving this shade, you guys. Like, I feel like it is my perfect shade. It is so freaking beautiful. It is the Dior um, Nude Look Satin Shade 100. I got this more recently and I'm obsessed with the formulation. I do think that the packaging could definitely be more weighted for the price tag, but the formula is so good. Not only am I obsessed with the shade, but this is really nice and long wearing. It feels like you don't have anything on your lips. It's hydrating. It's moisturizing. It is so beautiful. There is a light fragrance, which I was trying to decide if it bothered me enough to return it, but it doesn't. I can tolerate it. If there was anything I could change, I wish that it didn't have a scent, but wow. Wow. Like, wow. It's quickly become a favorite of mine. So I highly, highly recommend this if you're down to splurge a little bit. Uh, really a great product that I've been obsessed with. I'm not going to top this with the gloss because I really like the way it looks. But another product that I've been loving so much that I wanted to chat about is also from Dior. It is their Stellar Glosses. And this one's in the shade 629 Mirrored. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is not only so comfortable, but it's long lasting and it is so sparkly on the lids. It is absolutely stunning. Like these two have just been my go-to. I want to wear them all the time the last couple weeks. So I wanted to make sure that I shared both of those. But yeah, these have been my current makeup favorites over the past couple weeks that I really just been reaching for and wanting to use. Of course, this is something that can change pretty frequently, ebbs and flows, depending on what's inspiring me, what I'm loving. Uh, but some of them, as you saw, have just lasted the the test of time. <laughs> like, so good. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.